Hi. Thanks for coming. It's been Kari Yoga. I'm Diane. If you've been here before, I'm honored. If you're coming back, keep coming back. And if you have not liked and subscribed, please do that now. Okay, let's start in child's pose. Find your jaw drop, slight constriction on the back of the throat, breathing through the nose. Lift your core up, lift your hands up using your core. And then put, put your hands down, take a cat cow. Shh. This is the cat exhale completely. Inhale, cow. Inhale to hand, uh, forearms down, breathe in your cow. Exhale to cat. Hands touch. Inhale. Cat on your forearms. Exhale, cow. Fingertips to knees and legs. Inhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And send hips back. Inhale. Through cobra, exhale to your child's pose. Inhale to cobra, exhale, child's pose. Inhale and child's pose. Send your hips to the right of your knees, right arm over your ear. Left hand can touch your left knee. Right on back. Shift your hips to the right of your ankles. Left arm over your head. Hips left of your ankles, sorry. Knees spread, take some five baby um, push-ups. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Hand, right hand spreads to the right, left knee bends. Lift it over, breathe into your right shoulder. You can take your left hand around. You can take your left hand to your left foot if you want. Breathe. Take your left foot, left knee all the way to the side for half frog. Inhale. Lift, exhale. Fold. We'll do five more baby push ups. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Left hand reaches forward. Right hand threads the needle. Open into a twist. And breathe. Try to reach your forehead, you know, <laughs> shoulder to the earth. Take your left arm, reach it through the air, through the air, over your head, reach around your head, top of your head, to the right hand, spread across and beyond your right hand. Reach the left hand, circle it around. Look over your left shoulder. See if you can take a deep, deep fullest breath here. Unravel, left hand comes down. Right knee bends. Left leg light, reach, left arm reaches behind you. Press into your right hand as you reach your right foot back behind. Grab your right foot if you like with your left. Curling your heel towards your glutes.
And then take your right knee to the right side of the mat for frog. Inhale, chin up, look up, baby. We'll take five of these baby push-ups. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Two more, inhale lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale. Press into your right hand, thread your left leg, through, left arm through, right arm opens. Deep breaths. Twist on the exhale. Start to take your right hand around through the air. Reach around the back of the top of the head, all the way to your left hand. Reach beyond your left hand with your right hand and then reach your right arm. Fingertips frame your face. You can follow them with your eyes to the twist. Breathe in. Take your left hand over your head. I stay in front of you. Take a side stretch here. Bring your feet together, knees are bent. Lift your hips five times. One, Ex inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale, chest round up. Option on your knees, exhale down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift up, exhale down. Inhale, lift up. Shift your hips to the mat. Take this side bend, side stretch. Bend your knees, feet together. Let's lift it five times. Lift hips, lift up. One, two, three, four, five. Let's flip the dog, right, right foot comes up, reach the right foot around and flip, lift your hips up, squeeze your shoulder blades, breathe in. Through the right leg flows through to the left, push up. Left foot, top leg, right foot steps forward, straighten both legs, fold over the legs. Bend the right leg and lift the left arm. I know, breathe. Take both arms to the front. Got a little more intense. Breathe. One. Straighten both legs. IT band stretch. Send the right leg back. Frame the left foot and flip the dog. Lift the hips to the ceiling. Now send the left leg through. Push up. This is through for, and then lift for fallen star. Take the right foot over, step it over. Straighten both legs up. So keep the right leg bent. Into the outer edge of the left foot. Left hand's on the floor, right hand reaches up. To make this, you can stay where you are, make it more intense by both arms reach forward. Core is engaged. Left foot reaches back, right arm reaches up. Step the right leg back, three legged dog. Send the right leg to the right. Send the right leg to the left. Bend the right knee to the ceiling, and hips, the foot reaches into this. Reach around with the knee all the way around and through. Cross the foot over the knee, shift hips back. Sprout open to palm star, right arm. Right foot reaches the top of the mat, breathe. Press into your left arm.
take the hands on the inside uh, in front of the right leg, send the right leg all the way to the mat. If you dare, breathe. Open your legs for pancakes. Fold and pancake for five. Hands in front of the legs. Core is engaged. Let's lift your feet five times. Five, four, one at a time. Whew. Reach around the right leg. Bring the right knee to your nose. Right knee to the floor. Right knee to your nose. Right knee to the ceiling. And switch it out. Touch your toes and down dog. Breathe. Exhale. Inhale. Left leg reaches up. Your left leg to the right. Left knee bends. Make some circles with the left knee. Left knee goes out for a fire hydrant. Right, right, left foot reaches. And then reach it back. Left knee to nose. Left knee to the ceiling. Straighten. Left knee to nose. Left leg extends across, all the way to hips to the floor. Let's take a push up here, breathe in. Open up, fold pancakes. Close your eyes, three more breaths. Work yourself up. Engage your core, leaning forward. You can take one foot at a time or you can take them both up. So five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Now um, let's do five more. Five, four, three, two. Core's engaged. One. Excellent. Let's roll the left leg over. Come into a downward facing dog. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Fold over your legs, forward fold. Just surrender here, maybe slight micro bend in your knees if you like, or a deeper knee bend. You're still getting the stretch into the backs of the hips, so it doesn't matter. Take your ego out of this, it should only feel good only to your comfort and stretch. Keep lifting your hips, breathing into the back of your legs, releasing your neck and your head. You sway, and you bounce. You walk your hands to the top of the mat, plank pose, chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Right leg reaches the sky. Right knee to your right. Right leg, uh, right foot uh, flexes and reach the foot all the way to the front of the mat outside your right hand. Bend into a learner's lunge. Left hand comes underneath, right hand sweeps the sky, twist. Right hand reaches in front of the right foot for half moon. From half moon, we're gonna send the left leg through to the ceiling. <laughs> this uh, left leg through. And now, take dancer's pose, knees together.
sent it through. <laughs> Warrior three. Warrior three. Frame the right foot. Um, left foot touches down, right leg sweeps the sky. And right knee bends. Straightens, bends, and straightens. Right knee, right foot reaches over to the left. And back again. And left leg sweeps the sky. Left foot to the right. Left knee bends. Straightens and bends. Straightens. Bends. Straightens. Straighten that right foot. Sorry, left foot straight. <laughs> Flex your foot and then reach your foot around through hydrant to meet your left hand. Bend the knees for coming to a lunge. Left arm reaches up. Easy twist. Twist and lunge. You're gonna come up and take the right knee with us. You're gonna grab the right foot for dancer's pose. Right ankle. Uh, first, put your knees together. And then breathe. Focus on one point. Active through your toes in the back, maybe. Bending, slight bend in the left will give you some balance. Through warrior three. I know it's tricky transitions. And down. Framing the left foot, send the left foot back to the back of the mat. And walk. To the back of the mat, standing, split. Send the left leg back for dragon squat. Sit on the butt. Take the twist across, looking over the right shoulder at the back of the mat. And come on out of this. Right leg standing slit. Right leg reaches the sky. Squeeze the butt. Flex the toes. And bend both knees for a squat, dragon squat. Bending the elbows. Reach around. Pull over both legs. Roll up. One vertebra at a time. Hands reach up. Take a step forward with the right foot. You feel your arms? Next, uh, drop slowly, lower your left knee. Lower, slowly lower. Tuck your hips, tuck your tailbone. And drop your knees. Lift your elbows to the ceiling. Exalt. Press your elbows forward. Reach your head to a bound three. Eagle three. Bring your hands in front. Release them under your feet. Feet together at the front. Uh, well, hips width apart at the top of the mat. Slide your wrists under your hands and surrender Reach your head up hands on your hips come with a flat back inhale right knee comes up right knee back switches back for four Warrior three. Step into the right foot. Left leg reach. Left arm reaches up. Take the twist. Look, drop your hips. Look over the left shoulder. Inhale, left up. And down. Hips up. Hips up and down. One more time. Hips up. Frame the left foot. Send it back. Walk back to a standing split on the back leg. Right leg is up, 
I mean, sorry, left leg is reaching up, framing the right leg, squeezing into your right butt cheek, spreading through your left toes, working that left leg towards straight. And release, keep your chin up as you come all the way up with your left foot. <laughs> this time we'll take a big step forward with the left foot. Keep both arms, all right, so left arm that's on the top now. Just send your hips a little forward. Maybe the right hand's on the right arm's on the top now. Hips are forward, tuck your hips, tuck a little lower with back knee, a little lower, a little lower, a little lower. Hit the ground and reach. Send your hips forward. Squeeze your butt. Reach your arms forward. Frame the left foot. Step through warrior three. And bring your right knee up with you. Take your right knee to the right. And bring it forward. Right knee to your right. Make Stop with your left hand. Your left hand's gonna stop your right knee from moving to the right. Sorry. Right hand, right knee. <laughs> Press your right knee into your right hand. Open the hip a bit and then back. And one more time. And then reach back to warrior three. Uh, take the, a lunge, knee behind knee, and then straight back. You can have your hands on the floor if you want, or if you try balancing, um, knee to knee. Reach to warrior three. Knee to knee, see if you can find the balance. Shiva squat. Drop your knee behind your necks. Drop your hips to the mat. Take a roll into the face twist. Look over your left shoulder. Reach around. Look over your right shoulder. Reverse the twist. Take your left elbow into your left knee. Take a press into your right hand. Push um, yogi squat to the side of the mat. Breathe. Do stay in yogi squat for a few breaths. If you like to sit on a block, you can. I need from the air here. <laughs> Yogi squat. Bring the left foot, descend it back to extend uh, downward, downward dog at the back of the mat. Walk your hands back. Take peace fingers around your toes. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold over the legs, bending your elbows, reaching the crown of the head to the floor. Micro bend in your knees. Lift your hips up. Breathe. Let your shoulders reach down your back. Core is engaged. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, left hand on your left wrist, uh, waist. Bring your right leg up. Oof. Uh, press into your right, left big toe. Shoulders back. Left leg is bent, micro bend. Take your right leg to the right. If you can, look over your left shoulder. Bend the right knee. <laughs> step the right foot forward, big step. Reach forward for um, warrior three. And pull the foot you need to, or at your heart, or back. Shiva squats one. Knee in two, Shiva squat three. Take the left foot behind the right knee, take your hips to the floor and go to the fish over your right shoulder. Press your right hand, breathe. Unwind out of this by pressing your right uh, elbow into your right knee and 
Shiva squat. No, yoga squat. They say you grow young in this pose. They say this is a benevolent pose and it'll keep you younger. So uh, for a long time, when I was, you know, I had to sit my blocks on, my hips on a block. And then for a little bit, I had to put um, tennis balls under my heels to really have to do whatever it is. You know, some people find this kind of not comes naturally and might just um, have to just come in, in and out of this a few times to feel comfortable. All right, face forward into a pyramid pose, right leg forward. Look, look up halfway. We're gonna come up, uh, bend the slight bend in the right leg. We'll take you up, left leg bend, uh, come, comes with you. Left knee to the left, left hand will hold it. And back, left hand will hold it at the top. And then reach back, left hand will hold it. Squeeze against the left, knee against the hand, hands against the knees, opening up the hips to the front. Straighten it out, put it down, great. Right knee reaches up. This time right knee is gonna reach around. It's gonna reach all the way around to tap behind the back. And then it's gonna lift your hips up and then it's gonna come all the way through the ceiling to the front. We'll do that three more times. Reach around slowly, as slow as it takes. Put your right knee till it taps the floor. You can use your, your foot as a kickstand. And then come back one more time. I know, we'll stay on the floor this time. Floor to the fish. Opens you into yogi squat. Fold, 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 fold. Walk your feet away if you want to. You can um, take your, <laughs> the wrists line up with your heels. Bring your head through. Core is engaged. Hips are lifting. If your head makes the floor easy and you want to come into a handstand variation, let's just do it kind of quickly. Touch toes to the floor, inhale, reach up. Head is reaching up, hands are reaching forward, tails reaching back. Mechanic pose, release your chest towards the floor. For the other side, let's frame the left foot. Put your left leg back, all the way back for down dog split. Let's do knees. Let's do um, puppy pose. So bring your forehead right to the mat. Forehead, top of the head. Bring your chest towards the mat. If you want to go a little deeper, come to your fingertips. Arms are active. Bring your chest to the mat or chin. Come on up to a plank. Five, four, three. Squeeze your belly in. Bend your knees a little bit under your shoulder. Tuck your hips, core's engaged. Floating table. Step your left foot forward, right foot forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Hold on to your toes at the top of the mat, elbows up to the sides. Lift your hips up to the ceiling. Let your shoulder blades reach down your back. Micro bend in the knees. Surrender. Keep lifting your hips, engaging your core. Inhale, look up halfway. Kick your right hand to your head. Micro bend in the right leg. Gaze is on the point. I'm up. <laughs> when you're ready, take your left foot to your left. 
and release your left foot to the front. You're gonna give this time your left foot is going to go all the way. Uh, knee is bent, knee reaches up, round behind, and taps the floor under behind the right leg. And then taps the floor. Use your, use your foot as a kickstand. Reach around. One. Two. Ooh, this is good. And then rest on the floor. Three. And take the twist, Florida fish twist. Unwind out of this into yogi squat. Take um, forward fold. See if you want to walk your hands through your legs, inching your fingers forward. It helps maybe bring your chest, your head, and everything through. A little closer. Rest on the hat mat. Just rest if you like, or take a um, handstand variation with the arms behind you. Or you can walk your wrists under your shoulders and do it that way, or you can clasp your hands and hold your head in it. Any way you really feel like it, whatever you do, it's your practice, breathe. And walk your hands forward, chin up. Let's take this variation into a puppy, wide leg puppy, reach, reaching your chest towards the mat. Come to my elbows. No, let your um, feet maybe spread out. Working your middle splits here. Or not. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bend my right knee. Put my right foot behind it. And bend my left knee to the ground, put my left knee behind it. I'm gonna take frog pose here. Sending my hips back. Breathe. Close your eyes. my shoulder blades, see if I go a little deeper, I mean my elbow, so excuse me, walk my toes to touch behind, and then walk my hips in front of my heels. And just scan the body, close your eyes, and allow the blood to flow the other way from your head down, feel how good that feels. Another lovely way to assist that feeling is to come onto a block. So you have a block, um, Vipa Reader Dandasana on your back, feet up to the air, put the block under your sacrum. You can hold onto your legs or you can go to a wall and breathe. Now open the legs out to the sides. 
can adjust, assist with your hands. Be happy baby. Be rocky happy baby. The block could be rocking across your sacrum right now. It could feel really good. Creating some traction for your lower spine. You can move the block and do it wherever you like. So five more breaths and happy baby. And then bring your feet up to the side. Another wide leg straddle. And let's plant your feet under your knees and let's get some back bends for energy. Then we'll have one more dancing flow and we'll wrap it up. Exhale, hips are lifted, squeezing your tailbone for a bridge. Clasp your hands under your back, walk your triceps under, push your triceps into the mat, lift your butt and kind of squeeze it. Keep lifting your chest towards your chin, but your neck stays neutral. Lift your heels, heels down, lift your toes, and lift your heels, squeeze your butt, and lift your heels down, toes lift, and then one vertebra at a time, release your hands and roll your spine out, knock your knees together. You know, it's this constructive rest, it's a very nice way to release the spine. Uh, ever feel stressful, you can just take your knees to the ceiling, <clears throat> bent knees separate, hips width apart. You do get the same release through your sacrum. <coughs> the uh, next option is to take the, um, the bridge again. You could take supported bridge, but it's a block under your tailbone, very lovely. To, or you can take a full wheel with me. I'm going to two more wheels. So first thing I like to do is imagine myself in a wheel. What's going to need to engage? Um, my heart's going to need to lift to the ceiling. My shoulder blades will be reaching towards each other to support my back. But we'll be squeezing to lengthen my spine. Uh, my head will be with my face will be looking at my mat. My eyes looking at my mat, my chest reaching through the arms towards the wall that it's facing. Yeah, a lot of moving parts really pressing into my hands, really pressing into my feet, really opening through my heart, creating such good energy. Okay, so let's do this. Fingers facing the shoulders, feet could be a about hip width apart. Um, it, it's, it doesn't matter if they're a little bit wider and if your feet naturally spray out, it doesn't matter. It's, that's how your back then looks. Maybe not as pretty as if it's tight knee, feet under and ankles under knees, but certainly better for your knees uh, if you have any knee issues and easier on the back, okay? So you gotta do you with that, find what is your zone there. Okay, exhale completely. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale. Inhale through your nose. Come to your head. Exhale. Inhale, push up. Uh, look at my mat. I'm going to take a, a walk with my hands. And look at my mat. And pressing my hands, pressing my feet, squeeze my butt, lifting my chest, keep looking at the mat. Maybe reaching my chest through the arms. Five more breaths. And then tippy toes. And then heels down. And then tuck your chin. When you're ready, roll out. This time, spread your feet. And instead of, I know we'd love to bring our knees to our chest. 
We want to protect ourselves. We feel so open and so vulnerable, but it's really wonderful to just be there in that space and know that you're never alone. You've never been alone. Feel this universe support you underneath you. Take a moment to be so grateful for yourself for showing up today for this practice. Okay, let's do one more. <clears throat> Feet are under your knees. Hands are up your head. Imagine yourself in the hands you have back then. This time, when we do it, what I really would like, I'd like 100 breaths of fire in back bend. Now you can take, you know, you could take um, assisted bridge here, but it really opens the chest, opens the heart, creates the most energy. So you get a little trick I got from my Kundalini brothers and sisters. So, I don't know, I just love, love, love it. I love it. So let's do that, okay? Breath of fire is a quick exhalation, followed a mat and automatic inhale. Like, don't worry about the inhale, it's just automatic. The exhale is quick. It's like you could do your belly movement. It's like this. <coughs> uh, if you need to get tissue, some of you might, might, we might need a tissue. Um, I'm just, you know, you can also release a little bit here by hugging your knees into your chest. You can pause and you can get a tissue. Oh, you know, if you have to, all right, let's get it. Let's do this. Okay, feet under your knees, fingertips facing your shoulders. Exhale completely. Inhale takes you to the top of the head. Exhale. Inhale reaches up. Three, two, three, two, deep breath in. And walk your hands forward. And I mean backwards. And quick breath. Excellent release and let it all go. Surrender, spread out on your mat, create space. Observe the energy you've created in your heart. You observe your nervous system vibrating. Observe that you are the vibration of energy in this life. your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Take your right knee over your left, send your lips, uh, knees to the left, look over your right shoulder. Step your right foot into the mat, and then come up into a twist. Uh, right knee up, a little bit left. Gonna put your hands in front of the leg, send the left leg back, right knee your nose, right knee, um, stay like a dog, right leg all the way back. Walk your hand self back to the first pose that we wore. Now the first pose as we got into today, bend your left knee. Hands come forward through your butt. 
Hands touch the floor, right leg reaches back, left knee reaches up. Left knee to the uh, right. Left knee reaches all the way around. Run, left foot reaches to the front, top of the mat. Take an easy twist. Breathe in. Exhale, inhale to your fingertips. Exhale, inhale, come up to a twist. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, open to warrior two. Inhale. Same thing, exhale. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Take a reverse triangle. Take a triangle. Breathe. Plant the left hand, step the right leg through. Um, pistol squat. Drop the hips, bring the right leg to the sky, holding the right foot. And let's slowly lower one leg up. Let's do crunches. One. Right leg comes up, knees stay touching. Three. Four. Keep the right. Excellent. Okay. Take the right leg over the left. You can even with the left hand if you want. We take a twist to the right. Look over the left shoulder. In order to release the knees, I just kind of let go of the ears a little bit off of my legs. Pressing the left foot into the mat, you're going to come up, right elbow, and take a twist over the left, out, left leg. Left leg comes forward, step the right leg back. Easy twist to the left. And the left foot, reach up. Left leg up to the left. To the, to the floor, right leg to the right. Right leg reaches up. Right leg to the right. Right leg's um, <clears throat> foot is flexed through fire hydrant. Elbow to the foot. Bend the right knee, easy twist. Come to the top fingers, uh, reverse warrior, I mean sorry, open twist to the right, cartwheel to our warrior two, right leg is forward, bend, reverse, straighten the right leg, bend the right leg, warrior two, reverse, triangle, take a triangle, Bend the right knee, lift to the front of the mat. Um, half variation, uh, chair pose. Take chair, come to the toes. Squat, toe squat. Seated chair, uh, chair variation on chest, hands on knees. Fold over the legs. Right leg back, left leg back, plank. Five, four, three, two, hold five, four, three, two, one, surrender. Prostration pose.
spread the needle right leg under, right arm under, and just flip to your back. And just surrender into the mat. If you want any last poses, shoulder stand, plow, take them. Enjoy. Spread your feet, 
wiggle your toes, reach your hands over your head, reach side to side, maybe roll over one side, making a pillow with your arm. And when you're ready, come to a seated pose. Bring your hands to your heart. Maybe you rub your hands together, creating energy in your hands. Maybe you rub your feet together like our Kundalini brothers do. And hands over your eye sockets. And breathe in. Breathe in peace. Clear mind. Peaceful joyful mind. Breathe in a peace and a calm for your mind. And rub your hands together. Keep your eyes closed if you want or open them. Bring your hands over your heart. Fill your heart with love. Kind, loving heart. Bring our hands to our forehead. Kind and loving thoughts. Kind and loving intentions. Fold over your legs. Namaste. Have a wonderful day. May the rest of your day are full of grace. May be happy. May be peaceful. May be filled with love. Maybe share the peace and love that you created and send it out. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you already haven't. And keep coming back. <laughs>